Madam Gazelle's house. Pepper and her family are visiting Madam Gazelle. Hello, Madam Gazelle. Hello, everyone. Come in, come in. Whoa. 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 Your hallway is a big slide, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> 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 is it meant to be like that? No, the house is just old. Everything here is a little bit wonky donkey. Ah oh, everything is leaning now, but it wasn't always this way. When did your house start leaning, Madam Gazelle? Oh, I don't know. It's been so long. And now I have cracks everywhere, too. Hmm. I think your house might need fixing. Can't I just paper over the cracks and paint it? That is what my builder told me to do. What does the outside wall look like? Ah, what's this? Oh, that is my little Christmas tree. That's not little. That's big. It was from Christmas a long time ago. It was a little baby tree with a fairy on top. After Christmas, I could not bear to throw it away. So I planted it in the garden. Your baby tree has grown so much, it's pushing your house over. That's why your house is all wonky donkey. Oh dear, what can we do about it? I'll call Mr. Bull. Hello, Mr. Bull. We have a big tree that needs looking at. I'll be right there. So, where's this tree then? Here it is. That's a mighty fine tree you have there, Madam Gazelle. Strong roots. Yes, but it's pushing the house over. Oh, yes. Let's chop it down. Oh, dear, my poor tree. Stop! I saw something move in the tree. It was a little animal. In that case, I must take a look. Before Mr Bull chops the tree down, he must check that no animals are living in it. Ah! Mr Bull has found a bird's nest. Look at that! Little birdies nesting in your tree, Madam Gazelle. Please, can I see the birdies? OK, Peppa. We can watch from the windows. Ooh, lovely birdies. I think there's something else higher up the tree. Look what's here. Buzzy bees. <laughs> Let's see what else there is. I say, look at this. <gasps> it's an owl. Oh, I think I see something else. Onward and upward. Aha! You've got bats, Madame Gazelle! Ah, my friends, the bats. They remind me of the old country. And what's this? Ah, my Christmas decorations! And a fairy! That is the fairy I put on the little tree all those years ago. It's a magnificent tree. A wonderful home to so many little animals. Yes, this tree should not be chopped down. Hooray! But wait, if the tree stays, what will happen to my house? Well, eventually it will fall over. But I need a house to live in. Oh. oh. Huh, I've got an idea. We'll put your house in the tree. Mr. Bull, the crane, please. Right you are. It's a tree house. <laughs> yes, it is wonderful. I have always wanted to live in a tree house. Thank you, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Madam Gazelle loves tree houses. Everyone loves tree houses. Masks. It is the start of another day at Peppa's Playgroup. Good morning, children. Where is Madam Gazelle? Here I am. Oh. I was wearing a mask. <laughs> you were in disguise. Yes, and today you will all be making masks. Hooray! We have cardboard and coloured paper, <laughs> crayons and paints, <laughs> feathers, pipe cleaners, but 
Britain's pom poms. Can we use glitter? <laughs> no glitter. Please, Madam Gazelle. Please, Madam Gazelle. No, I have only just managed to clean up from the last glitter event. Now, begin your masks, children. <laughs> Pepper is using coloured tissue paper. I'm making a butterfly mask. <laughs> Danny Dog is using buttons and drinking straws. I'm making a robot mask. <coughs> Susie Sheep is using feathers. I'm making a magic owl mask. Twit twoo! I've made a superhero mask. Nay. I've made a carrot mask. <laughs> and my little brother Richard is a baby carrot. We like carrots. <laughs> George has made a dinosaur mask. Dinosaur. <laughs> and what mask is yours, Edmund? It is the solar system with all the planets. I see. I've included Pluto, even though it's only classed as a planetoid. Very good. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> so, are we all finished? Mine would look better with some glitter on it. Please, can we have some glitter, Madam Gazelle? Glitter, 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 glitter. There are lots glitter, of other shiny glitter, things you can glitter. use. Not as good as glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. No, glitter gets everywhere. There is no getting rid of it once it comes out. It is a menace. But it's so special and magic. Please, can we have some glitter? Please. Oh, all right. But only if you all promise to be very, very careful with it. We promise. OK. I will unlock the glitter cabinet. Madame Gazelle keeps the glitter safely locked away. Now, children, you did promise to use this glitter very carefully. It is home time, and the parents have come to collect the children. Ah! Glitter! Don't panic. Please remain calm. There was a glitter leak, but we have it under control now. <laughs> Today, the children have been making masks. Oh, oh, I'm here to pick up Pepper and George, but I can't see them anywhere. I'm a pretty butterfly. <laughs> flutter, flutter, flutter. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Butterfly. I'm looking for two little piggies. Do you know where I can find them? <laughs> I tricked you! It's me! <gasps> Pepper! What a surprise! But where is George? <laughs> ah! <laughs> George, it's you! <laughs> I thought you were a dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle, I can't find Rebecca and Richard. Would you mind if I took these two carrots home instead? <laughs> Silly, Mummy! It's us! Oh, <laughs> Rebecca, Richard. <laughs> Come on, Pedro. Time to go home. I am not Pedro. I am Super Pony. Oh, does Super Pony want to come home or does Super Pony want to stay here for the night? Come home with you, please, Mummy. <laughs> Haven't we all had fun making wonderful masks? Who are you? It is I, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves masks. Everyone loves masks. Guinea pigs. Peppa is at playgroup with her friends. <laughs> Today, children, I would like to show you my pet guinea pigs. Aww. They're so cute. This is Ginger. He is very clever. And this is Brian. He is very sensitive. <coughs> now, children, I am going on holiday next week and I need to find someone to look after Ginger and Brian. Me, me, me. It's a bit of work and you will need to take them home. Me, me. I will do it. Are you sure, Peppa? Yes, I love animals. <coughs> Thank you, Pepper. It is home time. Mummy, Mummy, look what I've got. Oh, what's that? Ginger and Brian. Pep 
Papa has very kindly agreed to look after my guinea pigs for the week. I see. Everything you need is here. Right. I suppose they're easy to look after. Oh, yes. This chart shows when they need feeding and when they are to be brushed. Brushed? Yes, they like to be brushed at these times each day. I see. And one brush in the middle of the night. Anything else? They do get lonely, so you must sleep in the same room as them. Okay. Don't worry, Madam Gazelle. We will look after Ginger and Brian. Thank you, Peppa. Bye-bye. Bye. Ginger and Brian have arrived at Peppa's home. <laughs> Hello. This is Madam Gazelle. I forgot. You need hay for the guinea pigs. But you can buy it from the pet shop. OK. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Goodbye. What's that? Um, the guinea pigs need hay from the pet shop. Right. Who wants to come to the pet shop? Me! Me! <laughs> See you later. This is the pet shop. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Miss Rabbit. I'm looking after Madame Gazelle's guinea pigs. Oh, yes. Ginger is the clever one and Brian is sensitive. Apparently, we need hay. Well, there is standard hay, premium hay or super premium deluxe hay. Super premium deluxe hay? Yes. It is more money, but that's the one Ginger and Brian like. It is bedtime at Peppa's house. Are you happy, Ginger and Brian? They have had food, water and very expensive hay. I don't think they could be any happier. Madame Gazelle said they get lonely. Yes, so I will be sleeping here to make sure they don't get lonely. And to brush them in the night time? Yes, Pepper. Brush them in the night time. Night, night. It is the middle of the night. Ooh. Hello, Daddy Pig here. Hello, this is Madame Gazelle. I just thought I would ring to remind you about the brushing. Yes, we're brushing them now. What? Who? Oh, oh yes. Ah, oh, very good. I do hope they are no trouble. They're no trouble at all. <laughs> Peppa and George have been looking after Ginger and Brian all week. They are so adorable. <laughs> Here is Madame Gazelle. Madame Gazelle, you're back from your holiday. Yes, I came straight from the airport. How are Ginger and Brian? They are very happy. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you, Peppa, for all your hard work looking after them. It was easy. Would you like to look after them the next time I go on holiday? Ooh. Um... Yes, please. <laughs> Peppa loves looking after guinea pigs. Everyone loves looking after guinea pigs. <laughs> Muddy festival. Peppa and her family are in their little tent at the children's festival. It has been raining all night and the whole field has become mud. Whoops! What's it like out there, Daddy Pig? Is there any mud? Um, a little bit of mud, yes. Oh, my goodness. Wow! So much mud! <laughs> yes, well, it does say it can get a tiny bit muddy here sometimes. A tiny bit muddy? I've never seen so much mud in all my life. It's brilliant. Yes, <laughs> and we've got a whole day at the festival ahead of us. At the children's festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. Hmm. Let's start with making sandcastles. Yippee! Sandcastles! <laughs> this is the sandcastle area. Who likes making sandcastles? Yay! <laughs> now, you might have noticed it's been raining. So instead of sandcastles, we're making mud castles. Hooray! First, fill your buckets with mud. <laughs> Turn your buckets over. Give them a tap. Lift your buckets. 
Mud castles. <laughs> I like mud castles. Mud castles are the best. Well done, Miss Rabbit. How did you ever come up with the idea for mud castles? Simple. It rains every year, so we always make mud castles. Ah. So what do we want to do next? How about painting pictures? Yay! This is the painting tent. <laughs> Today, we're going to paint pictures. And instead of paint, we're using mud. Ooh. We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Hmm, what's best to paint with mud? I know! A muddy puddle! <laughs> the children are painting mud pictures. Daddy, what are we doing next? Something that's fun. Learn all about concrete in the olden days. <sighs> that sounds a bit boring. This is the history of concrete area. OK, so who wants to learn about concrete? Hmm. Okie dokie. Owing to the current mud situation, I've got a better idea. Who wants to do some puddle jumping? Me, me, me! <laughs> My most favourite thing in the whole world is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And if we're going to jump in puddles... We must wear our boots. That's right. Are you ready? Yes! Then jump! <laughs> oh, oh, my turn! <laughs> Daddy Pig has covered everyone in mud. <laughs> Although I say it myself, that was a good puddle jump. Well done, Daddy Pig. But maybe that's enough mud for one day. Yes. Next up is dancing. Oh, good. I love dancing. Dancing in mud. Great. Hooray! Here is Madame Gazelle with her band. Hello, everyone. Are you ready to dance? Yes! yes! Dance, dance, dance in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splosh, splish, splash. Give a big splash here and a big splash there. Here a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish splash. Dance, dance, dance in muddy puddles. Splish splash, splash, splish splash. Yay! This is a very muddy festival. Peppa <laughs> loves the muddy festival. Everyone loves the muddy festival. Pedro is late. Peppa's playgroup are going on a trip to the museum. Oh dear, Pedro Pony is not here. I bet he's still in his pyjamas. Pedro is asleep in his little bed. Pedro likes sleeping. Pedro, wake up. You'll be late for the school trip. <sighs> OK, Mummy. Come on, Pedro. We don't want to miss the bus. <sighs> The bus is still waiting for Pedro Pony. We can't wait any longer. The museum will be closed. OK, let's go. <laughs> oh, there's no one here. Maybe we're early. No, Pedro, we've missed the bus. Oh, come on, let's catch them up. <laughs> Pedro is always late. Look! There's a car chasing us. Oh, hello, Mrs Pony. Stop the bus! Pedro is here! <laughs> Sorry, Madame Gazelle. I overslept. Oh, Pedro, you do like sleeping. <sighs> yes, Madame Gazelle. To the museum. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. Uh, Madame Gazelle, I need the toilet. And me. And me. Me too. This is Grandad Dog's garage. <laughs> what will it be? Petrol or diesel? <laughs> toilet, please. <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't like any petrol? No, we haven't gone anywhere yet. 
<laughs> right. Next stop, the museum. Um, where is Pedro? Petrol pumps. Interesting. Oh, come along, Pedro. Bye. I hope we get to the museum before it closes. Here is the museum. Mr Rabbit is locking up for the day. Hello, Mr Rabbit. We would like to see the museum, please. Hmm. We were just closing, but I can give you a quick tour. This is the King and Queen's room, full of old stuff. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. Here are the giant dinosaurs. All very nice. Ah! Amazing! Space, rockets and all that. Wow! And through this door is the most amazing place of all. It's the fantastic world you live in. Oh! Thank you, Mr Rabbit. My pleasure. Goodbye. Right. Time to go, children. Where is Pedro? Oh, Pedro! A mollusk. Very interesting. Come on, Pedro, or you'll miss the bus. Where is everybody? The bus has gone. Uh, don't worry. Miss Rabbit will realise she's left us behind. Bong, bing, boo! Bing, bong, bing! Bing, bong, bingly, bong, bing, boo! All together now! Nobody has noticed Madame Gazelle and Pedro are missing. Oh, have you missed the bus? Mr Rabbit, I am a teacher. I need your car. Come on, Pedro. We'll take a shortcut. Hello, Dots. <laughs> Madame Gazelle and Pedro have arrived back at the playgroup. Where is the bus? Maybe we're early. Yes, Pedro. For once, you are early. Wow. Pedro is early. Yes. And you're late. You slow coaches. <laughs> Pedro likes being early. Everybody likes being early. <laughs> Breakfast club. Pepper and her friends are going to play group earlier than usual this morning. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madame Gazelle. Who knows why we have come to play group early today? Is it because we didn't learn enough things yesterday? No, Danny, that is not the reason. Is it because you like us so much? Well, I do like you all, but it is not the reason. Is it a very special day today? Yes, Pedro. We have all come to play group early because today is breakfast club. Ooh! And who knows what we do at breakfast club? Eat our breakfast! Correct! I love eating breakfast. So do I. Me too. Everyone <laughs> loves eating breakfast. And why is it so important to have a good breakfast? Because breakfast wakes your mouth up. So we can do lots of talking. Talk, 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 talk. Yes, yes. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> I eat breakfast because it tastes nice. Yes, Pedro. And breakfast gives us energy to use throughout the day. Uh... What is energy? Energy is the strength and vitality required for physical or mental activity. That's right, Edmund. <laughs> so, Rebecca, what do you use your energy for? I use it for hopping. <laughs> Very good. I use energy for thinking. What's he doing? Edmund is thinking. Yes, I was thinking. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> it can take a lot of energy to think. Ooh. And now we will all choose what to have for breakfast. We have bread, cheese, jam, porridge, yogurt. May I have carrots for my breakfast, please? Yes, you may. Can I have cereal, please? Of course you can. <laughs> Madam Gazelle? Can I have toast, please? Yes, Susie. I shall make you some toast. Does anyone else want toast? No, thank you. 
Okay, the bread goes in here, and we push this lever down. The toaster gets very hot, so please do not touch it. And wait for it. It's coming any minute. Hoppla! Ooh! Cut it! Wow! Can I have toast, please? I'm I'm me. Me. I'm I'm me. Me. Everybody wants toast for breakfast. Well, in that case, I will have to use the big toaster. Ooh. It's a super toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Plates ready, everyone. Wait for it. Here it comes. Whee! <laughs> everyone has caught their toast. Again, again! again. No, children. Eat the toast you have first. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have honey on my toast, please? Can I have marmalade, please? Of course, children. I'm having strawberry jam on mine. I'm having honey, marmalade and strawberry jam on my toast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting lots of energy in my tummy. So am I. I'm getting strawberry jam energy. I'm getting honey jam and marmalade energy. Everyone has <laughs> lots and lots of energy. And now it is time for us to do a breakfast bounce. Follow me. <laughs> Use the energy from the food to get our bodies and minds ready for the day. Copy me, children. Egg, apple, yogurt, pancake and toast. Which one for breakfast do I like the most? Toast, honey, egg, yum. Toast, toast, toast. Breakfast is... School cat. Peppa and her friends are going on a school camp. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I don't feel very well. The bus is very bumpy. Oh dear, Pedro Pony is feeling a bit travel sick. Poor Pedro. Come and sit in the front with me. <laughs> there. Is that better? A little bit. Madam Gazelle. Oh, do you feel sick too, Zoe? I might feel sick later. Can I sit at the front just in case? Can I sit at the front too? And, and me! me. Oh, oh. I'm sorry, children. You can't all sit at the front. Oh, Never mind. We're at the campsite now. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Happy camping, everyone. Bye-bye. This is our campsite. Breathe in the wonderful fresh air, children. <gasps> Excellent breathing. Now let's put up our tents. Peppa and her friends are putting up their tents. Children. You must each find a partner to share your tent. Susie, shall we share a tent? <laughs> I said I'd share with Zoe. Oh, sorry, Susie. I said I'd share with Rebecca. Rebecca, you said you'd share with me. Oh, yes. <laughs> Emily, who are you going to share a tent with? Um, Zoe. OK, good. Now you can share with me. OK. <laughs> <laughs> now I need sticks to make a campfire. We'll get sticks. But me and Pedro want to get sticks. Ha ha, you can all collect <laughs> sticks. <laughs> Peppa and her friends collect sticks for the campfire. <laughs> Wonderful. It is night time. Peppa and her friends are sitting around the campfire. Children, let's all sing a song. Yes! yes. The Bing Bong song, please. Oh, I'm not sure. Please, please Madam, Madam Gazelle, sing, sing the, the Bing, Bing Bong, Bong song. song. All right. Ooh, we're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
Oh, now, children, time for bed. <laughs> Good night, children. Good night, Mademoiselle. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are in their sleeping bags. I've got a torch. Me too. <laughs> Attention, children. No more giggling, please. What was that funny noise? I don't know. There it is again. <laughs> Susie, where are you going? Madam Gazelle. <laughs> I'm a bit scared. Oh, would you like to come in? Yes, please. <laughs> Madam Gazelle. <laughs> I think I'm a bit scared too. Can I come in, please? Of course. <laughs> I think I might be scared later. I might be scared later too. And me! Come in, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have the bing bong song, please? All right. We're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Madam Gazelle's leaving party. It is home time at Peppa's playgroup. Children, next week there won't be any playgroup. Why, Madam Gazelle? I am going away. Oh. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, Madam Gazelle. Peppa and George are home from playgroup. Mummy, there is no more playgroup. No more playgroup? Madam Gazelle is going away. I suppose she has been teaching a long time. Madam Gazelle taught all the mummies and daddies when they were children. Madam Gazelle taught me everything I know. Who can count to three? One, two, three. <laughs> Thinking about it, Madam Gazelle must be very old. Which is probably why she's decided to stop teaching. I know. We should give Madam Gazelle a leaving party. <laughs> Sounds fun! It is the day of Madame Gazelle's leaving party. Everyone has come to help. Pedro, you stay outside and tell us if Madame Gazelle's coming along. Why? We don't want Madame Gazelle catching us getting her party ready. Or it wouldn't be a surprise. OK! I hope we've invited everyone. What about Madame Gazelle's old friends? Wasn't she once in a pop group? That's right. She played guitar with the Vocking Gazelles. Hello, Rocking Gazelles. Hello, Madame Gazelle is leaving the playgroup. Gigi leaving? How sad. We're having a party. A party? What fun. We'll be there. Good. Everyone's coming. Now, let's make the party food. This is the playgroup kitchen. Everyone is helping with the party food. Emily Elephant and Wendy Wolf are decorating cupcakes. I'll do the icing. I was think of the hundreds and thousands. <laughs> Pepper and George are making jelly. Wobbly jelly. <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> Pedro Pony is outside, keeping guard. Here comes Madame Gazelle. Madame Gazelle is coming. We're not ready. Stop her, Pedro. OK. Hello, Pedro. You're early for playgroup? Yes. Don't go inside. Why not? It's a nice day out here, isn't it? Uh, yes, Pedro. Can I go inside now? Uh, no. It's... Against the law. What are you talking about, Pedro? We're ready. You can go in now. Surprise! Surprise! For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. And I shall say all of us. Hooray! Here is a present for you. An antique clock. Ooh! It's made of solid plastic. Thank you. But why is there a party for me? 
everyone wanted to thank you for being the best teacher in the world. So, we've made you a leaving party. Because you're going away forever. I'm not going away forever. But you said there was no more playgroup. Oh, Pepper. All I said was no playgroup next week. I'm going on holiday. Oh! I will be teaching for many years to come. Who else could be the teacher? No one! I'm very happy Madame Gazelle is not leaving. Yes, and I can't think of a better reason for a party. And every party needs music. Oh, oh the rocking gazelles! Hello, Gigi. Have you still got your guitar? <coughs> of course. Let's rockety rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Pepper and George are at playgroup with their friends. Children, today we are going to play with hoops. Ooh. Playing with hoops is a super fun way to exercise. And exercise is good for you. Yes, exercise gets your body working and your heart pumping. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> OK, take a hoop each. <laughs> there are lots of ways to exercise with a hoop. We will start by throwing it into the air like this. Hoopla! And catch. Now you try. Hoopla! Good. Now let's try rolling your hoops along the floor and running after them. <laughs> now lie your hoops on the ground. Add the jump from one hoop to the other. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 very good! And rest! Now we come to the very best bit. Spin the hoop around your middle like this. Wow! Madame Gazelle is spinning the hoop around her middle. You try! Everyone is trying to spin their hoops. Madame Gazelle, I can't do it. It's not working. My hoop is not very spinny. It is difficult to spin a hoop around your middle. Don't be sad if you cannot do it straight away. It takes a lot of practice to get it right. It is home time. Take your hoops and practice at home, children. <laughs> Look, Mummy, we've got hoops to take home. Oh, wonderful. Daddy, Daddy, look what we've got. Wow, hoops. They are for exercise. I see. Madam Gazelle says exercise makes your heart go, uh, boom, bang, boom. That sounds great. You throw them up in the air like this. Hoopla! Hoopla! And catch them like this. Very good, Daddy. <laughs> And you roll them like this. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> and you jump on them like this. <laughs> oh, that looks fun. You can do it too, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was good. My heart is certainly going boom, bang, boom. <laughs> but the best thing ever is to spin the hoop like this. Oh. Uh, it's very hard to do. May I have a go? OK. But don't be sad if you can't do it, Mummy. Right, here we go. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Mummy Pig can spin the hoop. Wow! Very good! Have another go, Pepper. Ready, steady, go. Ah, uh, I'll never do it. 
I've got an idea. Hold on. Don't move. Where is Daddy going now? <laughs> I think this will do it. You've got to spin. What you need is music to spin to. Ready, steady, go! Hooray! Peppa <laughs> can spin her hoop. George can spin his hoop. We're doing it, George! <laughs> you clever piggies. Peppa and George love spinning hoops. Everybody loves spinning hoops. <laughs> Big Crawly Safari. Madame Gazelle is taking Peppa and her friends on a school trip. Today, children, we are going on a creepy crawly safari. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, Pedro isn't here. Pedro Pony, why are you always late? There he is. Sorry I'm late. Stephen wanted to come too. Stephen? He's my stick insect. OK, you can bring Stephen, but it's your job to look after him. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle! Then let's go! <laughs> Here is the Creepy Crawly Safari. Will we see big, scary animals on the safari? Oh, no, Danny. Any creatures we see today will be very tiny and not scary at all. Roar. Ah! Here is Mr. Lion. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr. Lion. Welcome to my safari. Mr. Lion, you startled me for a moment. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Madame Gazelle. Oh, silly me. I must try and remember. Gazelle, not Wildebeest. The children are very excited about the safari. Great. Today, they will meet little insects living in their natural home, the wild. Ooh! Stephen doesn't live in the wild. Ah! We have a pet insect with us today. How do you do, Stephen? Stephen says, how do you do? Marvellous. All aboard for the Creepy Crawly Safari. <laughs> Here we are in the wild wood. Full of creepy crawlies. I can't see any creepy crawlies. Here, try using a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass <laughs> makes tiny things look big. Ah, a ladybird. <laughs> oh, how charming. Yes, and the ladybird's home is this leaf. Stephen lives with me at my home. We watch TV together. <laughs> mm, it sounds like Stephen has a very comfy life. Yes, Stephen is very happy. Next stop, the Rocky Wilderness. Here, we get to meet another insect in its natural home. What is it? A millipede. It has lots and lots of spiky little legs, so it can walk quickly. Stephen doesn't do much walking. So what does he do? He keeps still and looks like a stick. Ah! And now we arrive at the grass savanna, the home of a very special little insect. Oh, my word! Grasshoppers! Ooh! <laughs> are they super jumpers? <laughs> they are! Wow! Grasshoppers move quickly. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> That's the thing about insects. One moment they're here, the next they're gone. Ah, Stephen's gone! <gasps> Stephen the stick insect has run away. Oh no! Where can he be? Maybe Stephen heard the call of the wild. But Stephen lives with me. He doesn't like the wild. Don't worry, he can't have got far. Yes! Everyone look for Stephen! Remember, Stephen looks like a stick. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Oh dear! Stephen is lost in the wild. Maybe it's for the best, hmm? All animals are happier following their natural instincts, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Gazelle. Of course, yes. Gazelle. <laughs> Stephen's come back. Welcome home, Stephen. Stephen the stick insect likes the creepy crawly safari. 
but he likes his own home the best. <laughs> <laughs> Please and thank you. Granny and Grandpa Pig are having breakfast at Peppa's house. Mummy, may I have some juice, please? Of course you may, Peppa. Thank you. <sniffs> well, I never. It says here that children today are very rude. Would you like some juice, George? Please. Thank you. It says children have no manners and never say please and thank you. Oh, Pepper and George always say please and thank you, don't you? Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> I'm very glad to hear that because please and thank you are very important words. In fact, they are magic. Magic? Oh, yes. Nice things happen when you say please and thank you. Please, please, please. No, George. You only say please when you ask for something. Thing. And you say thank you when someone does something for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Oh, 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 it's time to go to playgroup. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. Thank you. This is Peppa's playgroup. Mr. Bull is cutting the grass. The grass is looking lovely, Mr. Bull. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Let me introduce you to the Being Nice Tree. What does it do? When someone is nice, I put a picture of them in the branches. Ooh! How do we be nice? There are lots of ways to be nice. <coughs> Madame Gazelle, I know some magic words that are nice. Please and thank you. Oh, yes! The magic words. Please tell us about them. If you want something, you need to say please. <coughs> and if somebody gives you something, you say thank you. Very good. Oh, this is something we can all practice with a little game. I will need two children, Susie Sheep <laughs> and Danny Dog. <coughs> now, Susie has an apple. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Very good, Susie. And Danny would like that apple. Yes, I would like that apple. OK, Danny, ask Susie for the apple. Can I have that apple? Yes. Mmm, yummy. Let's try that again. When you ask for something, Danny, you must remember to say the magic word. Abracadabra. No. What is the magic word, children? Please. Oh, yes. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Then off you go. Can I have that apple? Please. No. Susie. He's already got an apple. This is not about apples. It is about saying please. OK. Here's another apple. And now, Danny? What? The other magic word. Oh, yes. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Head, speech, legs and knees. I like saying please, please, please. Thank you so much for that thing. Thank you makes me want to sing. Hands, feet, legs and knees. I like saying please, please, please. Thank you so much for that thing. Thank you makes me want to sing. <laughs> what wonderful singing, children. You will all go on the being nice tree. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> i finished cutting the grass, Madame Gazelle. Very good, Mr Bull. Goodbye. <laughs> Madame Gazelle! What? What is it? You forgot to say thank you. Oh, yes. How rude of me. Thank you, Mr Bull, for all your hard work. It was my pleasure. And thank you, children, for reminding me to say my please and thank yous. <laughs> Madame Gazelle likes to say please and thank you. Everyone <laughs> likes to say please and thank you. Windmills. Today, Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. It is playtime. Play nicely, children. Oh. Here is Mr Bull. Morning, Madame Gazelle. Sorry about the noise. What noise? That noise! 
We've got a big job on this hill. Uh, thank you for your patience at this time. Madame Gazelle, what is Mr Bull building? I don't know, Peppa. Let's watch and see if we can guess. <laughs> Mr Bull has a big drill. He's digging a big hole. He's making a swimming pool. A swimming pool! Hooray! No, that's not a swimming pool. It's a rocket! A rocket! Hooray! But it's got petals. It's a big flower. A big flower? Oh, it's a windmill. Yes, Peppa, it is a windmill. To make electricity. Edmund is right. Edmund Elephant is a bit of a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> the windmill uses wind to make electricity. How? Well, the wind spins the top bit around and... Electricity comes out the bottom. Ah! Oh. Madame Gazelle, is electricity good? Oh, yes, Susie. We need electricity to power things like lights, television, and music. Ah! Back inside, children. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make windmills, Madame Gazelle? Yes, we will need paper and glue and some straws. Let me show you all how to make a little windmill. First, you fold a square piece of paper, like so. We make a little snip from each corner, put a blob of glue in the middle of the paper, then we fix one side of each corner to the middle. Now, all we need is a straw and a paper fastener to fix our paper windmill. There! A windmill! Wow! Now it is your turn! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a green windmill. I'm going to make a red one. <laughs> I will make a big one. <laughs> First we fold to the corners. Then a grown-up can do the snipping. Next, we put a blob of glue in the middle. Then stick it all down. Just one side of each corner, Freddy. Now we pin it to the straw. Maybe I should do the pinning, Peppa. There. <laughs> it's a spinny windmill. Is everyone's windmill spinning? <laughs> yes! 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 yes. yes. <laughs> Mine's not. Edmund has built a big windmill. I can't blow hard enough. Maybe if we all blow together. <gasps> wow! It's as big as Mr Bull's windmill. Let's go and see how he's getting on. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Bull's windmill is finished. Wow! Are you making lots of electricity, Mr. Bull? Yes, and we're using the electricity for something very important. Mr. Bull is boiling a kettle. Tea break, lads! All the electricity from the windmill has made a pot of tea. Oh, lovely. That hits the spot. Mr. Bull and his friends like tea. What a wonderful windmill, Mr. Bull! And how useful it is! <laughs> windmills are brilliant! <laughs> Peppa loves windmills. Everyone loves windmills. The police! Peppa and her friends have brought their bikes to playgroup. Children, today we have very important visitors. The police are coming to our playgroup. The police drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, no, Nina. It's D door, D door, no, D door. Police cars go. Woo woo woo. Nina, 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 Nina. Yes, yes. If I might explain, what I was about to say was police. The police. Here are the police. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. That is how the police say hello. Hello, hello, hello. 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 <laughs> I'm P. 
Police Officer Squirrel. And I'm Police Officer Panda. We're going to teach you how to ride your bicycle safely. Ooh. Right, let's see you all riding your bikes. <laughs> Look where you're going. Always keep your ears and eyes open. And stop. Well done, children. Now, suppose you're riding your bike along and someone steps out in front of you. What do you do? Um, uh, I would ring my bell. Very good. Ringing your bell lets others know you are there. Can you all show me how good you are at ringing bells? <laughs> um, I don't have a bell. I have a horn. A horn is just as good as a bell. Could you give your horn a tiny little toot so that we can all... Yes, that should be sufficient to alert the public of your approach. Now for the last bit of the lesson. Where is he going? Police Officer Panda is driving to the bottom of the hill. Calling Police Officer Squirrel. Over. Can you read me? Over. Read you loud and clear. Over. The police have special phones to talk to each other. I'm in position. Over. Now, when I blow my whistle, I want you all to cycle down the hill and use your brakes to not bump into Police Officer Panda. OK! <laughs> They're on their way. Over. I see them coming. Over. <laughs> Very good braking, everyone. Are you ready for Madame Gazelle? Over. Send her down. Over. Uh, I don't think I need to do this. I am the teacher and I wasn't Off supposed to go. be taught. Ooh! Ears and eyes open. Ears and eyes open. Yes. This is fun. Ring your bell. Oh, yes. Ring bell. Brakes! Oh, yes, brakes! Well done. And that's how to ride your bicycles safely. Children, thank the police for taking time off from their important work to talk to us today. Thank you. You're very welcome. When I grow up, I want to be a policeman. And what is it about being a policeman that you like? I like blowing whistles. <whistles> Very good. But of course, there's more to being a police officer than blowing whistles. Oh, yes. We're always very busy. We do lots of very important things, like... Uh... The police solve mysteries and drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, woo! -hoo. Spot on, Freddy. Right, we really must be on our way. And remember, always keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> oh! Who put that tree there? Yes, it's not a safe place to put a tree. I'll make a note. Dangerous tree on public highway. Ho, oh, oh. ho. You see, children, a police officer's work is never done. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Pepper loves the police. Everyone loves the police. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today you will learn how to play recorders. Ooh. Take a recorder each. <laughs> now, does anyone know how to play music on the recorder? You blow it like this. <gasps> no! oh, but that is not music, Pepper. That is a horrible squeaky noise. <laughs> to make music, we must play in a way that sounds... Uh, not horrible? Yes, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. Lovely. You see, all music is made from notes. <laughs> We just play the notes in the right order. That looks easy. No, do it like this. 
no, like this. No! Ah, stop! 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 That was not music at all. No, that was a horrible noise. <laughs> <laughs> and why was that? We weren't playing the right notes. And they weren't in the right order. So let us begin by learning the first note. <sighs> this is hard. It will get easier with practice. Now, this is the next note in our tune. Bravo! It is home time. The parents have come to pick up the children. And remember, practice, practice, practice! La, 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 la. Oh! Somebody is learning how to play the recorder. <laughs> yes, Daddy. Madam Gazelle said I have to practice. Oh, yes. Practice makes perfect. Will you help me? Of course Daddy Pig will help you. While I, uh, do some work in another room. Susie is practicing too. Yes, that's it. La, 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 la. Very good, Danny. Shall we call that a day? No. Madam Gazelle said I had to keep on trying until I get it right. Pepper and her friends have been practicing the recorders all week. They are giving a concert for the parents. Welcome to our concert. Ready, children? <gasps> Bravo! Bravo! Ah. Bravo! Haven't the children worked hard? Yes, it was a very good experience for them. It's hard to think it was only for a week of our lives. And now it's over. Children, for our next concert, I want you to learn this tune. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Go home and practice, practice, practice. Pepper loves the recorder. Everyone loves the recorder. <laughs> <laughs>